YouTubers. Welcome back to AZ2 Ozarks. I made a video yesterday about our what we were doing to become prepared for the coming winter weather. And today the winter storm has arrived as predicted. It just rained all night with temperatures above freezing. And then around 10 o'clock this morning, the temperatures dropped below freezing, but the precipitation has mostly stopped. We had a little bit of um, hail for a bit, so there's a light dusting of hail on the ground, and now it's just starting to sprinkle again, which is freezing rain. So what that means is it's rain, but as soon as it hits something, it freezes and turns to ice. Um, that's what people are worried about because it makes the roads really slick. I heard a report that there's already been a couple accidents in town. We're not going anywhere today. Um, we're just staying here on the on the farm and we're just going to continue watching and see what happens. I just brought some warm water to the chickens there. They are all in the coop. None of them want to come out today. So first thing I opened the coop this morning when I fed them and they don't have any interest of coming out. It's pretty chilly and um, I brought them some seeds and water so they can have a little bit of entertainment in there. True to form, Sasha's been outside the whole time. You can see her coat was wet um, from the rain and she doesn't like being toweled off, but this is all ice now. All of her coat is just ice, but she seems to be perfectly happy. She, again, refusing to go in the garage or the dog house, which she always has access to. Um, I had some squash put out for the goats and whatever they didn't eat, she seems to be enjoying. Murphy's coming out for just a little bit of a stretch before he goes back inside. He does not like the cold weather at all. And the goats are kind of spread out. Um, now that it's starting to pick up more rain, they'll probably all go in their houses. They don't like being out when it's actually um, precipitation happening. So we'll just keep watching this and see what happens. They have upgraded us to about um, seven and a half inches of snow expected tonight. So at some point this rain is supposed to switch over to snow and we'll see what happens. We are at the end of the first day of our crazy winter storm, which at this point has been mostly um, a nothing other than I guess the roads were icy and so that posed a danger for people who were out and about on the roads. Many local businesses closed, the schools closed, so uh, they were trying to keep people off of the roads. Um, it's the evening, we are putting the chickens and goats to bed, the rabbits have been cared for, so um, the snow is supposed to begin any time now and they are still calling for seven and a half inches of snow. We will see when we wake up in the morning. It is the next morning and it surely snowed and it's still snowing and everything's covered but I got up and I can't find Sasha anywhere around the house in her normal sleeping areas so I'm just worried about her. I'm coming out here to see if I can find her. Um, Maybe she's in her doghouse. Let's look. No. Sasha, where'd you come from? Hi. Hi, Sashi. Oh, here she is. I don't know where she came from. Hi, stay down, Sasha. Sasha, are you okay? Oh, you like the snow. She's so funny. Look at her. I'm worried about her for no reason. It's 16 degrees out. Um, it says it feels like three because the wind's blowing. Oh, Sasha. She must be really excited. Hi. Hi, honey. Oh, were you warm enough? She feels warm underneath. Warm and dry. I guess their coats are just really made for this. We love this dog so much. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl you are. Okay, well, it is snowing. And we got snow, so we'll have to measure it here in the bit. The kids aren't up yet. Look, the pond's even covered. Whew, I didn't get on all of the gear just because I wanted to come and see where Sasha was, um, <laughs> who is obviously just fine. She looks like she's eating some snow. I, her water dish is uh, water. The de-icer is keeping her water good and de-iced. 
There's a Sasha angel in the snow. All right, so I'm not gonna stay out here long, but I did wanna show you, it looks like the pond is snowing over. I kinda doubt that it's iced over, maybe just like a little layer on top. <sighs> Suppose there's no reason to worry about that pup, huh? Look at her go. People say that they're really hardy, and boy is she. Hey, Sashi. <laughs> Hi, funny girl. Yeah. Oh, stay down. Okay. Let's look at this pond before my hands freeze out here. Whew. It just looks kind of dirty with the snow on top of it. Little layer. Wow, that snow is coming down pretty good. Okay. Well, it looks like it has a little layer of ice over it. No, not really. It's just kind of snow landing on top. All right, let's do a real quick run by um, the goats and the rabbits. The chickens, I haven't opened their coop yet. I already know what they're gonna be like. Definitely not interested in coming out in this. Whew, walking into the snow now. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do we have here? We have Heidi and her kids cuddled up nicely right there. And over here, I see Mama Goat, Snowy, Benjamin, Heidi, or uh, Missy. And then over far, I see Austin Powers the Buck in his house. So, looks like everybody's cozy. Yeah, I see you, Sash. I see you. Check on the bunnies. Buns. There's butterscotch. She looks good. Might need some more straw in there. And there's Taco. Hey, Taco. He's got his cardboard and all of his stuff, so he looks good. Hey, buddy. And the snow is coming this way, so it's not flying into their little hutches. So, all right. Well. Looks like it's gonna be a snowy day in the Ozarks. I wanna see if I can get these birds. There's a handsome cardinal that's been out here at the bird feeder. And all these little guys, I don't know, maybe they're chickadees or something. Oh, there's the cardinal on the bird feeder. That's one of my favorite parts about the snow is that the birds all come to the bird feeder because there's nothing else. And so I get to see these beautiful birds and we have so many, they're pretty incredible. But we better get over here and feed the chickens and open up their coop before they, I don't know, rebel or something. I um, ferment their food to help them have a, a healthy life so their food is wet and mixed up. And then throughout the day, I'll bring them additional treats like um, sunflower seeds and things like that to give them lots of fat and also keep them kind of entertained since they're going to be stuck in their coop all day. Sasha's still out here keeping an eye on everything, making sure none of the predators get hungry and come looking for a treat. Since we've had Sasha, we've had zero loss of any animals and we did have an issue before she came onto the farm um we this ground's really uneven this is my compost pile and it's all covered in snow so it's all a little goofy you can see the nesting box has got a big layer of snow on it there so let's come over here and say good morning to the chickens
All right, so I open this up and I secure the clamp on their temporary door. That's for keeping the goats out. My glasses are fogged up, I can't hardly see. And then I climb in here to feed them their food. Hopefully it's not too slippery. I put it in four different spots so they can all spread around. And since the nesting box is covered in snow, we'll just grab the eggs from in here if we have any. Let's see. One in here. Nope. Here's an Easter egger. What else? Nope, we've got a couple over here. Three. I'm stick them in my pockets. I try to remember that they're in there so I don't squish them. So there's another Easter egger. I always love the Easter eggers because they're blue and we do have one that's more of an olive egger and it's really pretty. So I'm just going to leave the chicken door open today and I really doubt they'll go out but it'll give them fresh air and the choice. You may have noticed that Murphy the Beagle is always on a lead and Sasha is not. Well, that's for a good reason. She sticks around and Murphy with his beagle instincts, he takes off into the forest and goes uh, what he thinks is hunting in order to tree squirrels and whatever else all the time. Well, with the snow, I wanna let him run a bit and play and have fun. I'm just letting him out for the first time today right now. So we're going to put Sasha on a lead. Do you have the lead? It's buried right over there in the snow. So we're going to put Sasha on the lead and let Murphy. So if Murphy takes off, Sasha follows and we don't want her to take off into the forest. So we're going to put Sasha on the lead and hope that Murphy sticks around. So there's the lead tied to the tree. It is still coming down pretty good and the wind's picked up. I'm not sure if you can see all the snow blowing across here. That's the problem is the clasp on the lead gets frozen. Can you get it, honey? No, it's frozen. Okay. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I was able to grab his leash. So Sasha's now on the lead and we're going to release Murphy in hopes that he sticks around. Come here, Murph. Come here. Right, the free beagle gets to play in the snow. He doesn't often get to run around very much. Come on, Murphy. Look at him go. That's a happy beagle. We are working on training him, but for right now, he just has to be on a lead all the time. This is the first time I've let him off in a long time. If he'd stick around all the time like this, that would be wonderful. Make a snow angel. Aha, let's see yours. 
<laughs> there it is. Little snow angel. Are you making another? Perfect. <laughs> Last year when we had a real cold spell, this little guy got frost nip on his cheeks. So he has to have his face basically covered this year and we have to monitor his outside time. But uh, I don't think the temperatures are nearly as cold. Right now I think it's only about 14 degrees. to the tractor so we have the whole family inside the tractor not the whole family but the big boy and Rick and I and we're gonna go uh, drive over and feed the cattle all right we're here Keegan opened up the fence Check on those cows. Looks like they're all up here in a clump, kind of near the tree coverage, but the wind's blowing the other way, so maybe it's getting them a little bit of break from the snow. We're gonna get out. You wanna get out? Give them a, feed them. First thing is to unwrap the bale because obviously the cattle can't eat that plastic stuff. We usually stick into the bale the other way so the wrap will unwind, but a little bit different today. Oh, there's the bull, 2002. Chaco's the little blue tag right there. Hey cows. There's boss cow, Chaco, the bull. That's our youngest calf. She's a little heifer calf. Hey, cows. Hey, cows. Stand back a little bit, guys. All right. How's everybody doing? We look a little frosty. Chaco's getting to be a big boy. Wowzer. Look at this guy. Single-handedly pushing it. My goodness. Huh. He's yeah, gotten... Got so strong. The bale wasn't unrolling though, so Rick's gonna come help him. When the snow covers everything like this, obviously they have to have hay, though there isn't much grass on the ground right now anyhow. Where's our Lloyd? Right here. Where are you, Lloyd? Oh, there you are, Lloydie. She doesn't like gloves. Take my glove back off. Hi, Lloyd. You're a good girl. What a pretty girl. Yeah. She's like, I'm cold. Uh, she's getting closer to having a calf, so she's getting a little more standoffish than her usual friendly self, but she's still pretty good. Hey, girls. They're looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Look at this. 
icicle hanging. Oh goodness, a big old icicle. Is that Boss? Hanging, yeah, hanging off her side. Oh yeah, icicles. Hey Bossy. Hey girl. Hey girl. Yeah. You've got ice stuck all over you. Didn't care for that ice storm much. Crazy little ice clumps. Do you want to roll it? We gotta spin it before we can roll it. It's light. Huh? It's light. Have I mentioned how amazing it is to have a 14 year old boy on the farm to help out with the man's work? They're blocking it. Go on cows, get out of the way. More calves. They're getting big. Rick picked up the rest of the bale with the tractor and moved it over here. We'll leave that for tomorrow. Uh, they don't need a whole bale in one day. Sled! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> the cattle mineral tray. Came over here to check the water. Make sure it's not iced over. Looking good. It keeps a steady refill. So it keeps it from freezing pretty well. So it's looking good. It's coming down pretty good now. We may after all get the seven inches they're calling for. Definitely no farmer's market this week. All right, for the second time today, I'm bringing fresh water for the chickens. Um, it was frozen again. And I also brought them some sunflower seeds from the sunflower plants we grew this summer. And um, they like to eat them. So they eat shell and everything. Kind of gives them something to do to keep from being bored in here. And also some added protein and fat. With this cold weather, they actually burn a lot more um, energy. So I increased their food today, but it seems like they're still pretty hungry. So I'll probably bring them out another scoop here in my next checkup on them to make sure that they have plenty of energy. Well, we're getting close to the end of the day and it's not snowing very much right now. I'd say we probably got about five or six inches of snow. It is supposed to continue snowing through the night until about 4 a.m. tomorrow. And um, so we're not quite done with the storm yet, but I haven't heard reports of power outages. We haven't lost power, but we felt really good knowing that um, we did have backup systems just in case we did lose power. So I'm going to wrap up this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to keep following our adventure.